that. The question from Councillor Cornelius is a slightly next one, you can forgive me. Um, in the autumn, when we spoke and we, we were scrutinising you over the issues around going down the joint mention of um, and I will paraphrase because I cannot remember, I've been trying to get the exact words, but it would take a great deal of persuasion to convince you that the joint venture was the way to go. Um, I just have to ask you what precisely has changed your mind and persuaded you that the joint venture is in fact preferable to straight strategic partners you want to any other route? Thank you for that. Um, I was persuaded by officers and they, had, they did have a big battle to take me out there. And I see Mr. Cooper smiling. I was, um, I was accused by a former cabinet colleague of being rude uh, during that meeting, for which I apologise. It must have been pretty awful uh, if he said that. It was a very direct uh, discussion, and I was persuaded that, that this does offer the best route. When we make this decision, we make this decision without regard to the profits from the joint venture. We have to make them on that basis. We are guaranteed a saving, which we gladly need, and that is what, what we have to go for. The, the, the profits from the joint venture are the icing on the cake, really. They offer us a potential for growth, and they particularly offer us an income. Yes, exactly. Yes. They do. But we are making the decision on the basis of the guaranteed, uh, guaranteed savings that we all make. You know, Councillor Moore, you made an earlier point about the uh, democratic uh, uh, propriety of making a decision, but we signed up to the GLL contract for a long way ahead. There is a precedent in Barnet, and we have to be sure that there are provisions for reviews of appropriate details. Uh, appropriate intervals which, which would enable a change of direction. 